I know I have been slacking in the video creation aspect of my business. Um, a lot of you have reached out to me and are like, are you okay? Everything going all right over there? Um, yes, everything is okay. Um, I have had to really dig my heels into my business and get involved with the day-to-day, -day, comb through every single expense, look at our process and our workflow and operations, all those things that really have to use my analytical side of my brain, which is not as, um, what should I say, fruitful as my creative marketing sales side of my brain. And um, sometimes I just have to take a break from posting videos or from doing marketing or from doing the PR stuff. I love it so much. It's fun to me and it doesn't feel like work. That's why I like to do it so much. Um, so I can focus on the business itself. And so this video is titled How Burpees Grew My Business. Yes, I said burpees, those things that are like the worst things ever that people hate. If you don't know what a burpee is, it's basically like jumping into the air, falling down into push-up position, and jumping back on your feet into the air again and doing that over and over and over and over until you want to die. That's burpees. Um, I started a challenge a few months ago where I just, I have to set metrics and goals for myself, whether it's business, whether it's fitness, whether it's getting stuff down around, around the house. If I don't hold myself accountable, I know nobody else will. So I had set this goal that I was going to do 30 burpees a day for 45 days. And if I didn't do 30 burpees that day, it was going to roll over into the next day. And if I didn't do 30 burpees that day, it was gonna roll over into the next day. Guys, there were several times that I had to do like 120 burpees in a day. And I did keep the challenge going after I saw the benefits of it. Um, I say zero out of five stars don't recommend because I hate, I hate, I hate burpees. But the results have been good. So I've continued on with the whole rollover thing. And I've even added in, other things and um, like whether it's running or skating or different things that I'm trying to achieve certain goals with, I'll do the whole rollover plan, right? To give myself grace if I don't feel like doing it that day, but I still hold myself accountable for making up for it. So with that being said, after I did that 45 day challenge, I've really tried to take the burpee method, I guess is what I'm going to call it, and applied it to my business. And I said, okay, so maybe I can do 30 new open recs, that's job opportunities, because the only way we make money in my company is if I have open job recs and I'm filling them and I'm finding employees to fill those jobs. So I said to myself, 30 new job recs this month. And if I don't get 30 new recs, then that's going to roll over into the next month. Now, I can get 10 new recs, and so the next month, I'm going to have to do 30 plus 20, right? So just roll over what I didn't do. And so starting that challenge helped me get comfortable enough to ease into other things that are very difficult for me. And this is just me. I know that there's a lot of people who have opposite issues as it relates to trying to grow their business and struggling with using their right side or their left side of the brain. I'm in a group with 12 other CEOs and they all have the opposite problem where they're like, well, I have a hard time making videos. I have a hard time marketing. I, my PR sucks, but they know every number in their business and they, they crunch numbers like people I've never seen before. For me, it's been very difficult. Um, most of you know I've been very open about my journey of recovery, um, being sober from drugs and alcohol. So I've had to work really hard at looking at the bank account, looking at the P&L, 
um, looking at our operations, our workflow, and not seeing the flaws in my business or blind spots that I've had along the way as my worth. And the burpee method, as weird as that sounds, has really helped me with that because I started seeing it as a goal that's not as attached to me and my identity. The best way that I can explain um, how it feels for me to look through my books and look through my expenses is it almost feels like how it used to feel for me when I'd step on the scale. That number on the scale, even though it shouldn't have, really made me feel like it was it determined my worth. And so over the past couple of months, I've been really taking a look at every single expense and there are some things that have made me feel really, really um, foolish, I guess. Um, ignorant, maybe. Um, but now that I've learned to work through those feelings that success is not linear and I'm I'm learning as I see different failures and acknowledging them and getting in front of them proactively instead of being reactive because former Sherry was very reactive. I am a very resilient person and I am a land on my feet. I'm like a cat. I have so many lives. Like I'm always going to figure it out. But I finally got sick and tired of being sick and tired. Just like I did when I got into recovery. Same thing for me in business. Tired of being reactive and fixing things or, or finding a way to land on my feet. Yes, it always felt good to win despite it all to um, still find a way to come out ahead. But I'm to a place now where I value my peace so much and serenity that I'm like, do I really want to live like that? And so now I am able to really dig my heels in, use that other side of my brain that I'm not usually great at, um, the, the analytical, the operations, the numbers, Ugh. which... Uh, I know you need both for business, right? Like, I'm sure there's plenty of people watching this video and they're like, yeah, but look how, how great you are at marketing and sales and PR and that brings in the business. Well, I can bring in the business all day long, but if I'm not a wise steward of that business and I, if I'm not a wise steward of how I'm spending my money and not only spending it, but how I'm saving it, then what's the point of all this stress and hard work? So anyways, I'm sharing this with you. I still have through the rest of the year to go on my whole burpee method. And um, I'm hoping I'm not speaking too soon. I just want to share the journey as I'm going through it with you guys. Um, but through the rest of the year, I'm going to continue with this whole burpee method of one day at a time growing my business and focusing on the numbers no matter how bad they hurt. Um, sometimes they're great, but just learning to see that my business is separate from me and money is a tool and that decisions I make or have made is not a reflection of my identity or who I am. It's the process of me learning to become, for me, who my higher power called me to be. So I hope this video um, resonated with you. Um, I'm sorry, it's nine minutes long. That's a really long time. If you've watched it all the way to this point, awesome.